India's largest reinsurance company, General Insurance of India, accounted for around 44% of the premiums passed on by Indian insurers to reinsure during FI19. With growing international presence, the company is the 10th largest reinsurer in the world on net premium, according to Standard and Poor's. Let's do a three-point analysis of GIC's FI19 earnings and the outlook on the company. 1. What are the key positives in FI19 earnings? Will consistent and favourable investment income more than compensated for the weak underwriting performance seen in FI19? The company also reported profits of over 2200 crore rupees in FI19, which is a decline of 31% year on year. Increase in tax provision on account of change in law marked the bottom line. Excluding the tax, performance was much better. GIC's solvency ratio also improved to 206%. It remained comfortably above the regulatory requirement of 150%. Now, given the modest growth targets for FI20, raising fresh capital also seems some time away. The reinsurer revised premium rates for eight sectors under the fire segment in March. Two, what are the big concerns then? GIC's cross a premium increase to over 44,000 crores, which is a rise of 6% year on year. Premium growth decelerated sharply to 6% in FI19 from 24% in FI18. Now, while the international business premium recorded a healthy growth of 11%, domestic growth slowed down to 4%. The reinsurer also reported an underwriting loss for FI19. The combined ratio weakened slightly, mainly due to the increase in the claims or loss ratio, while the commission and expense ratio was slightly better for the year. 3. What's the outlook on the company? Well, the management has paired premium growth target from mid-teens to 9 to 10% for FI20. Being the leader in the reinsurance space, GICRE has competitive strengths in the domestic market. That said, the recent change in regulations enabled foreign reinsurance companies to compete in India, following which 10 foreign players have opened their branches in the country. Now, despite this change, we expect GICRE will continue to retain its dominant position because of two prime reasons. First, all direct insurers in India are required to cede a minimum 5% of their every non-life policy premiums to GICRE. Now, this in a way guarantees business for GICRE. Secondly, current regulations mandate that GICRE be given the first preference by Indian insurers who are keen to reinsure the risks. Though we are comfortable about GICRE in the long run, the stock will react to underwriting performance in the short term and could be volatile. Now, the stock is already down more than 40% from its 52-week highs. The current valuation looks quite reasonable at this point. While FY20 performance is expected to remain quite modest, investors looking to play the reinsurance sector, the stock is definitely worth a consideration.